Uh, now let's create our uh, client and we will keep uh, things uh, simple and we'll use just uh, React, uh, just create React app for this. And what should we do? We should go on our uh, main folder and run the command for create React, React app. And I want to create it with TypeScript. So let's just run it. Uh, so our uh, app installed and I want to rename it. Let's just call it client and in package JSON. We will rename it smart album client. And another thing I would like to do before we start coding is to delete the pre-initialized repo uh, from this uh, client app. And now I want to uh, run git init and uh, initialize empty repository because uh, if you don't do that and you push in your uh, empty repo, you will get some uh, git history from uh, create react, react app and you, I guess, don't want it. Now let's install another useful library. This library, React Query, will help us to manage our uh, requests to server and to cache data, to synchronize it. And it also has some uh, cool features out of the box that we will use and explore. So let's install it. Uh, you can see that I install the app, uh, the library from this, with this name, and stack React Query. Uh, there is another one, uh, just React Query. And the difference between them is version, because uh, the uh, owner of uh, repository, the owner of the library decided to keep the old third version on just React Query, and the new uh, version will be on this one. So we install the newer one, of course. So React Query installed, and now let's run our client. It's gonna be on uh, localhost. 3000. It's a, a basic uh, boilerplate of React app. So what we want to do next is to create our uh, mutation to upload picture and to create a component that uh, will contain file input and we'll call this mutation with uh, files that user added. We will make an API folder and let's call it photo TS. Oops. And here, and here we will add a fetch request for uh, to our server to upload picture. Uh, it will accept form data. You remember we have to send binary files, and it will call fetch API. Um, the URL we will add later to our environment. Let's just now hard code it like that. Our configuration will have method post and body our form data. We can even do this body, body. Yeah, and let's um, hard code this URL for now. I will call, I will uh, start backend on this port, but for you it can be uh, any other port, just not 3000 because we already running our client on 3000 and we have to run our backend on some other port. We have our post request here, so let's create a component. Let's call it uploader. And I think I will even do this 
I'll create one more folder and we'll put the component here. So in this component, let's add uh, our basic HTML markup. It's going to be form and let's add some text. And a simple file input. It will have type file and we will allow multiple files and on change we will just call upload file. And we can create upload file here. It will have our event here um, with the type change event because we call it on changes you see. Now let's import it in apt.ts just to see how it looks like. This we don't need. So now instead of boilerplate we see our input. Now let's create a React query mutation. We will import a hook use mutation from our React query library and then we'll create mutation. Uh, first argument uh, will be our upload photo function that we just created in API photo.ts and uh, second argument is our callbacks. We will need one callback for now on success and it's gonna have a response. And we need a response here and in this response here we will just console log what we are getting from backend. Now in our upload file function we can use this mutation and uh, pass the actual data to it. How do we get it? How do we get files from our input? First, let's get them from target and you see that uh, our TypeScript is not happy now that we want to get files from target and uh, we will use a little hacky thing here. We will uh, cast it to our HTML input element. Now TypeScript is happy. We're going to create our form data. And then we will um, go through the files and add every file to this uh, form data. Uh, here we need to append our file using name and actual file and again TypeScript is not happy it says file list is not assignable so let's use this type here to make TypeScript happy because our files uh, if we console log it so now if we go to our browser and try to upload files. We will see that uh, we get an object with a type file list. It's not a classic array or um, object. It's a special type, so we have to type cast it here. And now we can just call our mutation here.
and pass from data. Now let's uh, open new terminal window and start our backend with a flag HTTP port and we have to start it on some other uh, port rather than uh, 3000 so for me it will be 3009 feel free to choose any port you like now we can try here to upload a picture and see what's gonna happen and we got our results with labels Uh, you see labels look fine, just the same as in Postman, but the saved file looks a bit strange. Um, it is because we just return um, from the backend, we just return a link to the file, not the actual S3 path. So, so let's go and fix it. So here, instead of returning just the link to the uh, S3 object, we will return an actual URL to the, of the file uh, that uh, we could use to access it in browser. So we will use template string. And here we're gonna have our bucket name. And then it's uh, S3 Amazon AWS com slash file name um, yeah a little typo here let's uh, restart the server and try one more time with the correct URL And now we get our link and our labels as well. And if we try to open it, we're basically downloading the file. Now let's try to upload uh, multiple files and see how it's gonna work. Let's just upload all these four files. And you see request is pending and now it's 200 and we got all four files it's the same file, so basically labels will be the same. Um, and another thing what I would like to do, you can see that we have kind of uh, a lot of kind of useless information here because we are not gonna do uh, anything with um, these confidence, instances, parents, and we just want to get the name of our tags and that's it, we don't need any additional data. Here where we get our labels, Let's uh, just let's just clean it up a bit. If we look here, so we basically only need the name. So instead of returning all the stuff, we will return only name. So if we take a look at our response, and we see that we have here labels then labels with a capital L and then in every object in this array we have property name that we want to get. So let's transform our response here a little bit. First let's destructure here these labels with capital L and here we will just map through them and return a label name. Now let's restart our server and check. And yeah, now we just uh, get nice array of labels that contains every picture. That's it for today and in the next video I will show you how to create a DynamoDB database uh, in our serverless backend application and we will uh, save all the metadata for images and all the images uh, to this database.